Hey there, my name is Martina Modum and I'm the host of And One. In this show, we'll be getting to know your favorite basketball players, covering anything from shoes, foods, favorite cities, and everything that you want to know. Today, I sat down with Monaco's superstar guard, Mike James, who opened up about his living experiences in Europe, his main travel buddy, and your league basketball players he loves to watch the most. Welcome to the first episode. I'm here today with the one and only Mike James. Hey Mike, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. How are you? Uh, great. Great. <laughs> Sunny day. Perfect. Monaco can't, can't complain. Right, right, right. I have a first thing that I would like to start from. It's a picture of you as a kid. Yeah. It's, it's really cute. Did you ever think you're gonna be playing? In like the NBA? That? Like or you are, anything? like both? Like just be a big time? Like <laughs> I mean, yeah. And I thought I was gonna play like baseball and, and football and soccer and everything. So, you yeah. know. So you tried every sport, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to play everything throughout the season. Okay. Oh, like from oh, one to... Yeah, from one to another. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's, that's a good plan to have. <laughs> Probably need yeah, a lot of energy yeah, for that. Yeah, so it didn't work out. So in some sense, maybe I failed. Oh. <laughs> in one interview, you've mentioned that uh, you were uh, oblivious and you didn't know when you came to Europe for the first time, you didn't know what your, your league was and you oh, didn't yeah. know what to expect from living here in Europe. And uh, how did how did that change over the years? Because you've been here for a while now. Uh, well, now I'm like an expert now. I, I feel like I know everything. But uh, yeah, when I first got here, I had no idea what EuroLeague was. I didn't know what EuroLeague was till I was actually playing in EuroLeague. And then I had to look it up and like see what, what was what. I didn't really, I had no idea, but uh, yeah, in America, we don't pay attention to EuroLeague or anything. Anything outside the NBA is just, everything is just one overseas glob, no matter where you're playing at, so. Which is pretty sad, like, given yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty, it's you, pretty you, embarrassing if you, if, <laughs> well, you know to a lot say it out loud, but, <laughs> yeah, whatever. And if you could give yourself advice to when you first moved to Europe, what would you say? What would you say, hey, like, Mike, I would rather do this and this uh, different. Maybe learn how to cut hair. Oh. That would be a good one for me. If I could cut my own hair, it would be nice. Because I'm really picky about how I get my hair cut. Yeah, okay. So, so it go. was tough finding good it's hair. It's tough finding hair barbers everywhere barbers, you go. Barbers, sorry. Hairdressers, I don't know. Yeah, so <laughs> hair cut, people cut hair. Whatever the name is, it's tough finding them everywhere. And now you're probably adapting really easy to, to any place you go, really, right? You know what what to get, what you like, and what you don't. Uh, like. You know, I try to adapt easy. I try to be low maintenance, which is kind of <laughs> difficult now. But you know, I try to be easy, adaptable. And what are your must-have things around you? Whether it's like I don't know, you find your favorite restaurant or your favorite to make you feel more like at home in the, in the new place. My dog. Okay. <laughs> but he, my, it, my dog. It tra travels with you, right? Yeah, he comes everywhere with me. And what, what kind my of My phone, for sure. I need my phone. I have a husky. Husky? Oh, that's cute. It's gonna be a little hot here. Yeah, he's gonna be <laughs> hot here. But, he, you know, he'll get over it. Uh, my phone, my video games, and then, you know, just some food. After that, I'm pretty simple. But I need, my dog, I gotta have in my yeah. phone, for sure. Okay. Video okay. games is kind of like a... a I want than a need. Mm -hmm. With my phone and my and my dog is more than a need. What's your favorite your league team to watch? Like if you're the, if I'm not playing. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not playing. You're just watching a team like on a I don't know on a Thursday. You just... See, I don't know. I like watching people. Okay. I'm not really. I'm not good at watching like a team unless like we're playing them. I'm, I like watching certain people. Okay, so would you mind sharing who, who are these people? It's a whole bunch of them, to be honest. Decolo, I like watching Nando. Mm -hmm. Shane. I hate watching Will Clyburn, but I, I I like I like I like him as a player, but I just hate watching this game. <laughs> the same thing for Corey mm -hmm. Higgins. I don't like watching him play, but Nedovich, I like watching him play. Okay. I used to watch like watching Sved play, but I don't know how he's gonna play at Cheska, so maybe I'm gonna hold my res reservations back. <laughs> Taya Dosich, I like watching Taya Dosich play. Okay, so there are quite a few. Yeah, I like watching a lot of people play. No. A lot of people that are good, to be honest. And some people that aren't that good, but I just like watching them play. Then do you have then your favorite uh, coaching style coach? Because we know that EuroLeague is like, it depends. The teams so, are so different from uh, from coach to coach. Do you have anyone that you like, like the kind of game they're, they're showing or? Got like four probably. Uh, I like how Madrid plays, Cheska. Mm -hmm. 
I like how FS is playing just how they're free, but they play basically the same way every game. So basically the, the top teams, I mean, which, which kind of I'm trying sense. to think of somebody else. I, I'll figure it out. If I had like the list, I could put it out. There. Maybe um, as I'm Lithuanian, I would say Sharis' game. <laughs> like, but that's a little different. I hate like, watching I'm his very, teams play. Yeah, I'm very biased. I'm so biased. <laughs> I hate watching his teams play, to be honest. Oh, really? They're always good, but I hate watching his teams play. Well, they just the they just like all, it's just too much. It looks like it's just a lot of details and very structured and in the box. There's no yeah. like spontaneity to it. True, true, true. true. But I understand that. obviously he's an amazing coach. But no. I just don't like it's not like aesthetically pleasing. There you go. Talking about health and uh, food that we touched on the topic a little bit. Um, are you like a health freak when it comes to? Not at all. I don't no. care. <laughs> you don't care. Okay. <laughs> so you know your body pretty well and uh, works for you. Yeah, people. <laughs> are trying to get me to be a health freak, but I like food too much to be a health freak. I try to stay away from certain foods, but if it's like on a menu and it looks good, I'm still gonna order it, so. Yeah. What are the, the foods that you're trying to stay away from? Like, like pork okay. and like dairy and, and red meat, but then I like steak a lot, so it's hard. These are the tough foods to stay away from. Yeah, I'm trying. I try to stay away. I try to. I try to do chicken and salmon and like veggies and stuff like that. But okay. every once in a while, I kind of. Okay, so let's talk about your dream car. Do you have your dream car? Do you have a list of your dream cars? And maybe you own a few. Oh them? Lord, we were just talking about this. I've been wanting a Ferrari for like five years, and every time I'm about to buy one, I never buy it because I just. I, that's a lot of money to spend. Yeah. And yeah, I just so you keep like maybe next year, maybe next yeah, year. maybe next year. And I'm like yeah, and then here living here, you see them all the time. And you're like, man, I could have a Ferrari. Yeah. Then I'd be like, yeah, but if I live overseas, I might as well just buy it here and just drive it here. But that's a big question when you live overseas because would you just buy it in the U.S. and then have it for I don't know two months and then two three months, right? Off season. Yeah, it's, it's too many questions in my Ferrari buying adventure that I just can't buy one right now. Just cancel the plan. Yeah. Until I figure out all the questions. If I could ship it back and forth freely. Then, freely, that's the key. Yeah, freely, <laughs> then I would have one right now. I'm lying, I wouldn't have one. I don't even want to buy one now, but I do want to buy one. See, this is what I do with the Ferrari. Okay. Like back and forth cute. like this. When you get a car like that, you can't get a regular color. No. You got to get like a, like hmm. something that's just like, oh yeah, that's his Ferrari right there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's a good one. You can't have too many around red Ferraris. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I have this question. If this was your last day on the planet, that sounds really sad, but like I'm trying not sure. Okay. <laughs> Don't focus on this, okay? Okay. Uh, what were your three, what, your last dinner, let's say, right? Your last dinner. What are your three meals that you're having? Appetizer, main, and dessert. Your top choices, you can be anything. Any, anything from anywhere. <sighs> Appetizer, huh? There's this uh, restaurant in Milan, in the Shangri-La Hotel, I think. Mm -hmm. And they have this raspberry risotto. I would have that for the appetite, for the first, for sure. I can't even think right now. That's a tough one. That was a good question. I never heard another question like this. You should have sent me this question before so I could come up with good answers. <laughs> but the raspberry risotto, for sure. Oh, you know what? At Carbone in New York, they got, a, they got like a spicy pasta. I'm putting that one somewhere in there too. Okay. That'll be my starter. Okay. Then I have the risotto for, <laughs> for the first. Oh, yeah. And then for the main. Carbs yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we about to die. We need we need all of them. Right, you don't care about anything else. Sugar, and carbs, then, nothing. Yeah. Dairy. <laughs> for the main, I'm going something. Probably, probably some sort of salmon or something. That's my thing. So yeah. dessert, apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Okay. That's that's like a classic, but yeah, it's apple good. pie with vanilla ice cream for That's sure. I know that now you said you have not bought your Ferrari, but what was the most stupid purchase you've ever made? It can be anything, anything small, big, it doesn't matter. What was the most stupid purchase I've ever made? That's a good one too. Probably a watch or something. I don't really need it. I just kind of have it. Probably something stupid like that, like a piece of jewelry, because I don't even wear jewelry. So there you go. Oh yeah, I have a chain. <laughs> I've, I've had it probably like five years and I've worn it like three times. Oh. But it's a nice chain, but I just don't wear it. It's very expensive per wear, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's very when you expensive. divide that. <laughs> yeah. It's expensive per wear. Yeah. If not USA, what would be the country that you would like to live in anywhere in the world? Hold on, hold on. I got follow up questions. If I choose Monaco, do I, do I got to pay taxes? But then that's a really big advantage towards Monaco. 
Okay. So Puerto Rico, because if you stay in Puerto Rico, you don't gotta pay taxes either. What so about, Puerto Rico. What, what about let's take out the taxes thing okay. and then, then focus on the okay. <laughs> uh, So okay, Monaco, Puerto Rico. Yeah, okay. Can I can I pick a yacht and then I could just travel from port to port? Yeah. I live on my yacht. There you okay. go. On that hundred meter one, right? 200. Two, oh, because I gotta live on it. Does so. it even want, like, does one exist? 200? I don't Probably. know. Probably. It, it exists. It will somewhere. exist for you. They will create it, right? Customize. <laughs> yeah, they got to. Got to. Last thing, since this show is called N1, N1, I need you to give me the best N1 celebration. <laughs> Have you seen me play? <laughs> yeah. But I never celebrate. I mean, I mean, okay then. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I got N one celebrations. I don't even talk half the time. Not on the basketball court anyway. <laughs> I'm celebrating that we had a good interview. There you go. Okay. Fun celebration. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. <laughs>